Component Assembly for Human Evolution. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 583. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Jay, and this is our May 20th, 2024 edition of Weekly Progress Update. And boy, do I have an interesting topic for you today. Component assembly of human evolution. That is a mouthful, and I'm going to break it on down. So component, component assembly of human evolution. Well, component assembly, if you look at the background of this video, that is a snapshot of the components that we are assembling for human evolution. And you might think like, wait a minute, human evolution, like what's going on with that? What do you mean by human evolution? Well, um, I think most people would agree right now that humanity needs to take a big step forward in how we're managing our planet, how we're managing our the one shared living environment that we all have here because of the destruction that we're reaping and the damage that we are doing to all the things that we need that are the foundation of our survival. And so one community is assembling the components necessary to address those foundations and to create the optimum environment for people to step up into the role of global stewards and to make a difference and to create a sustainable world within our lifetime. And the way that we're doing that is by making teacher demonstration hubs easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough to spread on their own and to teach all the components necessary for us to evolve as a species to a culture and a civilization living and creating for the highest good of all people in life on this planet instead of the current everyone for themselves paradigm based on competition and in a lot of cases destruction and not really considering the consequences of those for the entire planet. And so the components that we're assembling are the physical foundations of sustainability, which everybody's aware of, they're food, energy, and housing. And we're adding to those the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified and call highest good approaches to fulfilled living, education, economics, and stewardship. We're putting all these components together into open source tools, tutorials, resources, do-it-yourself instructions, plans for replicating all those to create teacher demonstration hubs that would be built around the world to work in cooperation, collaboration with each other and with other organizations to be able to create more and more open source plans, tools, resources, and models that can be replicated anywhere in the world to address the different climates, the different challenges around the world, and to work in cooperation, collaboration to create these teacher demonstration hubs wherever they're needed to teach more and more people how to replicate this and how to replicate not just the complete teacher demonstration hub model, but any of the individual components that are needed within those regions. If something doesn't already exist, time to build it there. How do we do that? You know, and so one community is answering that question. Well, wait a minute. I don't like, where do I even start? You know, we are going through that process because we need to go through that process for ourselves, but we're not just going through it for ourselves. We're open sourcing and free sharing the process as we do this so that others would be able to use the plants that we're creating to be able to create their own versions of teacher demonstration hubs or their own versions of eco villages, their own versions of any aspect of what it is that we're doing. It might just be their own versions of locally grown food that doesn't have any pesticides, herbicides, or fungicides. You know, it might be their own version of just a guest house that is built without any toxic materials and designed to last longer than, than current construction methods and is more artistic. That's still a step in the right direction. Like, that's still an evolution. If that becomes the new paradigm, that's an evolution of what we're doing right now. You know, and so when we talk about component assembly for human evolution, we're looking at how can we put all these components together to ultimately support the human experience better than the way that most people are living right now such that the idea will become so desirable that 
people will want to implement this around the world and then making it easy enough and affordable enough so that it does become self-replicating. So assembling each one of these components in, and creating them for the highest good of all people and life on this planet is looking at it from a perspective of like, okay, what is the consciousness that we want to create from and what is possible if we recognize that we already have all the resources on this planet that we need to take care of everyone on this planet. That's a fact. You know, we already have the technology necessary to create a sustainable world. That's a fact. Like we already have these things at our disposal. So the question is, is like, why are we not already doing it? And the answer to that is because there hasn't been an easy step-by-step -step grassroots, you know, implementable version of it that anybody with average means and access can, can replicate anywhere in the world. And so one community is creating that we're creating a DIY replicable model for the complete teacher demonstration hub and each one of the individual components. And we're working out all the kinks and figuring out all the details that we can have a very specific cost analysis, exactly how many hours will it take? What is the step-by-step -step process for constructing it, assembling it, all those details, and then building that as a platform so that other versions, other iterations and evolutions of that can be created so that there's even more versions and options for people to choose from as well. So this is our idea for component assembly for human evolution. It's taking all the different pieces of radical sustainable living, showing that when you put these together in a teacher demonstration hub, you can create a lifestyle that most people consider to be far superior to the way they're living right now by producing more free time, more things to do with that time, all within walking distance, reducing the cost of living, providing a better education and recreational environment for our friends, our family, our kids, ourselves, and open sourcing and free sharing that as a replicable model and not just open sourcing and free sharing the foundations of the food, the energy, the housing, the fulfilled living, all that open sourcing and free sharing the actual open sourcing and free sharing model itself, building the infrastructure so that we can support other organizations building with our plans and open sourcing, show, teaching them how to open source their versions and already building the infrastructure, the software to be able to manage all this, building the website infrastructure to be able to share all this, building the team, the virtual team to be able to push the information out there and to continue to continue sharing the information so that we can support not only our organization, but other organizations interested in helping in this open source process as well. Assembling all the components into one teacher demonstration hub model designed to build seven different sustainable village models, a, a revolutionary education program built off the most progressive and revolutionary education models that are out there right now. And taking that mindset and applying it to everything, like, oh, what are the most progressive and revolutionary food models that are out there? What's the most progressive and revolutionary energy models that are available right now that are sustainable and can be replicated anywhere? What are the best food, what are the best housing models? You know, what can we do to create a culture of growth and personal development that people can participate in and how can we live stream that and share that with the world? You know, so education, economic models, same thing, and then stewarding all that. This is what we're doing. So one community is an all volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We're creating this because we want to live this way. We're creating this because we see the, the ridiculous inefficiency of the current paradigm of everyone for themselves and what is truly possible with a paradigm of living and creating for the highest good of all people in life on this planet, a comprehensive solution instead of a band-aid on the problems. And we are open sourcing and free sharing all the step-by-step -step instructions to replicate all aspects of the foundations that we're creating and assembling these components to create an environment that will truly be an evolution the way that people are living right now and allowing anybody to participate that can by open sourcing and free sharing it, anybody that wants to, by open sourcing and free sharing it so that they can. So this is what we're up to. If you'd like to see uh, bullet points on everything that we're creating, all the major components for our project, stick around for a couple more minutes. If you like a dose, a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox, uh, subscribe through our website. You can like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you just want to support us in the easiest way possible. Of course, if you want to help out, visit our helping page. If you'd like to see exactly what our all-volunteer team has accomplished within the last uh, week, visit our written blog and you can see exactly what everybody's done broken up into different categories there. And of course, if you'd like to see all the open source tools and resources and plans, everything we're creating and have created, visit our website. Uh, but know that every single day we are moving forward and we are creating this engine for change. You know, we're trailblazing a path to a world that works for everyone. And we have made a mountain of progress already.
and everybody's invited to participate. So this is what we're up to. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our podcast. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One Community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One Community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.